Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. I went to the meeting point you indicated. I had an unexpected encounter there. Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac. The Queen's favorite. She made no secret of her reason for being in that desolate place. So now I know all about the precious cargo that is the cause of your great concern. Seigneur. The children. What happened? Tell me that nothing bad has happened to them. That remains to be determined. One thing is certain. Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duc d'Orléans' men. They apparently attacked the wagon the children were hiding in. How... how the hell did they know? This ambush could not have taken place without an accomplice. You were betrayed. A plague on Orléans and his damned informants. They have taken the children. That still remains to be seen. It seems that the Duke's men were interrupted while carrying out their task. Three of them lost their lives. A fourth was able to escape. Excellent. I bet it was my hussars who sent the vermin running. But why the hell haven't they reported to me yet? Only they could tell you that. Would you be so kind as to go and find them? The lives of these poor children hang in the balance. My hussars are stationed at Les Invalides. That's from where they were to set off for Gros Caillou. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Aegis, a word, s'il vous plaît. Aegis, I'd like to talk to you about my research. Do you have a few moments to spare for me? Certainly, mon père. I am listening. I've carefully collected the testimony of our companions here. Then I compared them with the observations made during my investigation of the man who calls himself Cagliostro. I came to quite the shocking conclusion. I think... I believe... I have discovered how the royal automats remain constantly in motion. Like clocks that never need winding. They get their energy from the souls of the dead, Aegis. They drink from the anima essence that permeates the purgatory described by Monseigneur de la Farre. These machines feed on the dead. The greater the massacre, the deeper the river where they slake their thirst. Is there any way to stop the bloodshed, mon père? I believe there is always hope, Aegis. As long as I remain free to pursue my research, I will never lose faith. I keep thinking about the three Nemes, these echoes. All of this is clearly related to Nicholas Flamel's work. The alchemist? Precisely, mon ami. And this leads me to fear the worst. What have we to fear from an alchemist who died nearly four centuries ago? Not him, per se. Rather, the heretic who is exploiting his discoveries. This poses a grave danger to us all. Who is this heretic, mon père? Why, Cagliostro, of course. The king's accursed confidant. The man who allowed him to raise this diabolical army. What do you fear, mon père? What do I fear? Nearly two months ago, the king forbade anyone from setting foot inside the Église Saint-Jacques de la Boucherie, near the Hôtel de Ville. He had the priests forcibly removed. They hardly even had time to save the church's sacred relics. Since then, only our Father in Heaven knows what they've been doing there, hidden away from the people of Paris. Oh dear. Flamel's tomb. My thoughts exactly, Monseigneur. Legend has it that Flamel was buried with his Lapis Philosophorum. What is the Lapis Philosophorum, mon père? The Philosopher's Stone. Where do I begin? No one knows its true nature, or even what it might look like. All that is known is that it is said to grant untold riches and eternal life to whoever possesses it. Its very existence is questioned, of course. But if it's true, just imagine what sinister purpose the king and his accomplices might find for it. 
We must elucidate this matter at any cost. Where is this tomb? In the church's crypt. The priests always ensured that it remained undisturbed, despite the mystery surrounding it. But now they're no longer there to protect it. We need to know for certain. But how? There are automats everywhere. Aegis. Oui, mon père. Will you help us get to the bottom of this? Did you not say that it was impossible to enter the church? There is perhaps a solution. The penitence door behind the Chatelet leads to the Quartier de l'Hôtel de Ville. It's only opened on Good Friday, but this year, I had the honor and good fortune to lead the procession. Here is the key. Goodbye, mon père. My respects, Monseigneur. I didn't expect to see you again so soon, Aegis. We missed you when we had to leave our shelter at Place Saint-Méry. The path that led us to this convent was not an easy one, believe me. Goodbye, Monseigneur. Allez en paix, Aegis. Monsieur Raymond. Aegis. It was very unwise. It is a miracle that... What do you want to talk to me about? Have you ever heard of the Club de Massiac, Aegis? No, Monsieur. It's an association that meets at the Hotel de Massiac, just west of Le Halle. It counts some of the wealthiest plantation owners in the Empire. Those from Saint-Domingue and the Petite Santé are most formidable adversaries. They are waging a war of influence to keep the slave trade going and resort to the vilest methods to achieve their ends. They worship nothing but money. And their greed is matched only by their cruelty. Regrettably, my interests occasionally require me to suffer their company. Two months ago, I was in La Havre to settle some business with the Admiralty. When I overheard a conversation between two planters from Bastère, if they are to be believed, the Club de Massiac is plotting to create sleepless slaves, des esclaves sans sommeil. Those were their exact words. It's hard to say what this could possibly mean. But I fear they plan to administer some foul drug to their slaves to force them to toil day and night, without rest. Our organization will not let these poor souls endure such a hell. Aegis, we must look into this. It is a matter of great urgency. You speak of greed, Monsieur Raymond. But could you enlighten us as to what makes you any different from the planters you condemn? What exactly do you accuse me of, Monsieur de Robespierre? S'il vous plaît, do tell. Do you not also exploit the labor of these poor souls yourself on your indigo plantation? I fight every minute of every day to improve their condition. No one would have the audacity to deny this. If that's the case, then why wait? Free them. You preach abolition, yet you continue to line your pockets at their expense. The truth is, you refuse to upend the established colonial order because your entire fortune depends on it. It's easy to criticize from atop Mount Olympus, Maximilian. You know nothing of the realities of Saint-Domingue. What would happen to all these people if I freed them tomorrow? Without an education, without a livelihood, I would be condemning them to the most abject misery. No, I must act with both compassion and realism. Any reform, revolutionary or not, must be taken step by step, with moderation and prudence. This reform is not so difficult. I've begun it myself, at La Belle Gabrielle, my plantation in Guyane. There you will not find slaves, but workers who earn a weekly wage. And my plantation is no less profitable. Ah, yes, profit. Because that's the most important thing. Don't you see, the law of nature gives every man the right to cultivate his own land. Monsieur, calm yourselves. I implore you. Now is no time to quarrel. What Monsieur Raymond has related to us is extremely worrying. We must find out more about this plot to create sleepless slaves as quickly as possible. Aegis, you are the only one who stands a chance of making it to the Hotel de Massiac alive. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? How do you intend to counter the King's actions? Unfortunately, we don't have the upper hand. For now, we can only hope to protect ourselves from him. I am convinced that something is afoot. Something that could destroy all our hopes in an instant. You have my full attention. 
You should know that I am a gunpowder commissioner. As such, I oversee the provision of gunpowder to the kingdom's arsenals, La Senale de Paris in particular. For the past two days, a large quantity of gunpowder from Marsangi has been sitting near Les Invalides. It's in a warehouse by the factories. But the men I sent to take possession of the cargo and transport it to the arsenal have gone missing. Do you realize what this means? The gunpowder could have fallen into our enemy's hands. It's possible. One thing is certain. It's enough to destroy half of Paris. Whether it is still in the warehouse or has fallen into the wrong hands, we must find it urgently. Then, if possible, we must neutralize it. How? Simply by placing it in contact with water. Nothing could be easier in theory, but we must find a way to flood it. Flood the gunpowder? <laughs> You're out of your mind, Lavoisier. We're in the most desperate of situations and you want to deprive us of such a valuable resource. What will our cannons use once we have formed our army of patriots? Your army, Marquis, is presently but a figment of your imagination. I see. So you're one of those men who would sound the retreat before the battle has even begun. I will go to the warehouse. Once I have located the powder, I will decide what to do with it. Goodbye, Monsieur Levoisier. Monsieur Bailly. Ah, Mademoiselle, I am... I found a document written in a script that I was unable to read. Let me see. Ah, je vois. These pages were written using some sort of shorthand. A variation on Taylor's system, no doubt. I'm wont to use it myself from time to time while jotting down my ideas as they come. What does it say? Hmm. It's a bit difficult to decipher. Je crois. I believe it's an autopsy report. The author writes that the subject died from a large dose of prussic acid. What is prussic acid? My apologies, Aegis, but I'm no chemist. You should ask Monsieur Lavoisier. Goodbye, Monsieur B. Monsieur... What can I do for you, Aegis? What is prussic acid? It's a volatile compound extracted from Prussian blue, which is... What does it do? Oh, it's a lethal poison. Although, at weaker doses, it merely induces a... A deadly poison. Ages? Is everything... I did not find the warehouse. Vraiment? It's near Les Invalides. I did not find the warehouse. Vraiment? It's near... Goodbye, monsieur. No. Uh, he's the own. Is your plan to arm the populace going as planned? Oh, far from it, madame. The situation is hopeless. Even if they were... Uh, Why is that? Most of the strategic points in the city are inaccessible. A strange... They are seized by an irrational fear. One so great that those who do not lose consciousness go mad or perish. Or this makes it impossible to do anything. Any attempt at an uprising is a fool's errand. The locations you mention share a common feature. A statue. That's right. From what little I could make out, they appear to be depictions of a Vestal Virgin watching over the sacred fire. Une lanterne des morts! What do you mean, monsieur? Lanterns of the dead. Ancient stone pillars that are found near some cemeteries. Our ancestors kept a fire going on top of them. Today, no one knows what they were used for. A symbol of light triumphing over darkness, perhaps? Others claim that human bones Mercury and lime were burnt there. Some odious sorcery that was meant to entrap the tormented souls that wandered around the burial grounds. That makes sense and confirms my observations. I'm now certain that this essence is what allows the automats to stay in motion without needing a key to wind them. Paternoster quies in celis sanctificetur nomentum. Now that I think about it, madame, you obviously are not subject to the harmful effects of these lanterns. No, au contraire. When activated, these statues reveal an apparatus that allows me to repair myself. It follows that if you destroy these lanterns, the people will be free to fight again. Unfortunately, they are preternaturally strong. Nothing can so much as damage them. Come now, no metal is indestructible. If we knew what these lanterns were made of, 
Perhaps I could find a way to destroy them. Where should I start looking? Start by poking around the factories near Monsieur de Vaucanson's workshop. That's where the automats were forged. I'd wager the lanterns were made there as well. Are you making any progress with your projects? No, madame. At this time, we have not yet found a solution to the problem posed by these lanterns. If we knew what these lanterns were made of, perhaps I could find a way to destroy them. Where should I start looking? Start by poking around the factories near Monsieur de Vaucanson's workshop. That's where the automats were forged. I'd wager the lanterns were made there as well. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Are you making- No, madame. At this time, we have not yet found a solution to the prop. If we knew what these lanterns were made of, perhaps I could- Where should I start looking? Start by poking around the factories near Monsieur- That's where the automats were forged. I'd wager the lan- Goodbye, Monsieur de Robes. Minister Necker claims that you are a familiar face at the Twillery Palace. Well, that all. This, madame, is nothing but an unfounded rumor that I am trying in vain to dispel. To what do I owe the displeasure of having to defend myself once again? I must get hold of some documents that are kept in an armored safe in the King's chambers. What lock could resist your talents? Minister Necker said it was indestructible. Hmm. Oh, I see. Well, let me think. Who could help you? After all, a lock is nothing more than a... Nothing that can resist the expertise of our dear Monsieur Bailly. Why don't you ask him for help? I'll be sure to do so. Now, who else might be of use? Oh, there's Monsieur Lavoisier as well, our gunpowder commissioner. I'm sure he'll have no trouble finding you something you can... Good. I will go and find him. Now, if you'll forgive me, I have an urgent matter to attend to. You are forgiven for- In that case, it has been a pleasure, madam. Ma- Eh bien. I'm Don't remember that's as- Ma- I'm I went to the meet- I hadn't- Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac, the Queen's favorite. She made no secret of her reason for being in that desolate place. So now I know all about the precious cargo that is the cause of your great concern. Seigneur, the children, what happened? Tell me that nothing bad has happened to them. That remains to be determined. One thing is certain, Charlotte and the young Dauphin are missing. The evidence points to an ambush by the Duc d'Orléans' men. They apparently attacked the wagon the children were hiding in. How... how the hell did they know? This ambush could not have taken place without an accomplice. You were betrayed. A plague on Orléans and his damned informants. They have taken the children! That still remains to be seen. It seems that the Duke's men were interrupted. Three of them lost their lives. A fourth was able to escape. Excellent. I... But why the hell haven't they reported to me yet? Only they could tell you that. Would you be so... My hussars are stationed at Les Invalides. That's from where they were to set off for Gros. I went to the meeting point. I had an unexpected encounter. Get to the facts. Who did you meet there? Madame de Polignac. She made no secrets and... What ha the, this, That's right. But... Own which my... Goodbye.
How was your search? I found, I saw Mademoiselle de Vaucanson running from the Comte de Galeostro. This letter refers to a hiding place where she often sought refuge. It's in the Jardin du Luxembourg. I know the place. Oh, one day, Eugène and I were walking in the Luxembourg Gardens when suddenly Atenais jumped. It was a startling, almost frightening sight. The spot is on the edge of the garden, hidden by vegetation between two statues. I'm looking for a way to force a lock, Monsieur de Mer But I know, but I'm... He is... Excuse, that's... Intriguing. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? I would like to access the... Dare I ask for your help, Monsieur Lavoisier? And how can I be of assistance to you, madame? I need gunpowder to break through the door. Gunpowder? But I don't have a speck of it, mon ami. Do you think I just walk around with explosives in my pockets? Oh. I apologize. Mirabeau? What is this ridiculousness? Where is the animal? So we can ask him what's true- He has left. He had an urgent matter to attend to. If I could inspect the safe and determine what metal was used in its fabrication, I might be able to find a solution. But given the circumstances, I'm sadly not- I understand. I did not find the weapon. Very much. Goodbye, Miss. Atenaeus' hiding place. A fight took place here. Franciscus Antonius. 
What unusual names. Whose cane could this be? Perhaps the guests of the Cordelier can enlighten me. Has anyone seen Monsieur de Mirabeau? How is your research on Nicholas Fermel? I have done- Don't take too long, eh? Don't forget that the church isn't far from the- Franciscus Antonius. Does that mean anything to you? Let's see. Francois Antoine. No, that doesn't mean anything to me, I'm afraid. Désolé, ma chère. Goodbye, Mon... Monseigneur. What can I do for you, Egis? Do the four names Franciscus Antonius mean... Hmm. The, the Franciscan order? Go on. Franciscus Assisiensis. I'm, I'm sorry, Aegis, but that's... Did you go to the Hotel de Massiac? No, not yet. Remember. It's by Leal, just west of the Mas... I found a cane inscribed with the name Franciscus Antonius. Does that mean anything to you? No, I'm sorry. Did you go? No. no. Remember. See you later. Monsieur B. Does the name Franciscus Antonius mean anything to you? I imagine that we're actually looking for someone named Francois. But no matter how hard I think, I'm afraid it doesn't ring a bell. Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you, Agent? Did the names Franciscus Antonius mean anything to you? No, nothing really. Francois Antoine, maybe? No, nothing with that name either. I'm sorry, madame. Goodbye, ma... So how is I haven't met him yet. He is your only chance to reach his hold up in the quarries of Montmartre. I found a cane engraved with the name Franciscus Antonius. Who could it belong to? Let me think a moment, je vous prie. I know an Antoine Francois, but he is a man of the people and a true patriot. I doubt that he ever sported a cane with his name engraved on it. Are you making any progress with- No, madame. If we knew what these- Where should I start looking? Start by poking around the- That's where the automats were forged. Were you present? We, oui, madame. We laid bare bit- So he had the pe- At least we are positive. Goodbye. Monsieur Necker. Madame. Do the names Franciscus... No. Nothing at all. I'm very sorry. Monsieur Necker. Madame. Eh bien. I'm not done investigating. Don't give up, I beg you. Remember, the last time I saw... That's in the Faubourg Saint-Germain, east of Les Ailles. As for the bonds, you'll find them in the Armoire de Fer. Monsieur Le Marc. I'm listening. Franciscus Antoine. Francois Antoine. Hold on. Of course. The affair took place during the reign of Louis the Beloved. Just a few leagues from the castle. I was still a young boy. But I remember it like it was yesterday. It caused a stir all over the country. I doubt that it has anything to do with my case. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that.
field with the dead tree. I might be able to stop this experiment.
follow the directions on the receipt. It also mentions the Quartier du Saint-Eustache and Rue Saint-Honoré. <laughs> in that direction. I should be able to find a way in. I have already passed by the Église Sainte-Marie. I can get back there quickly from here. Single one escaped.
Don't move. Ah, oh, that cursed dancer! May you be devoured by rust! things with him. Sleepless slaves. They meant the automats. Feeding off the blood of innocent people. 
Monsieur Raymond was completely mistaken. I must inform him. Some worshippers were able to escape the automats. They ran towards the entrance to the catacombs.
Madame Necker escaped. I must inform her husband immediately.
traces of gunpowder. It would appear that Monsieur Lavoisier's gunpowder was taken to the Bastille. Barrels were stored here and rolled away. These grooves prove it. Here I am, at an impasse. Should I go to the Tuileries to examine the safe? There may be a way to force it open. I can get to the Tuileries Palace via the Louvre. Then I should be able to enter it through the courtyard.
monster. What do you want with me? Wasn't it enough for you to steal my dancer? I'm merely obeying the king, mademoiselle. Don't be afraid. You and your beloved machine will soon be reunited. I give you my word. Voila, here we are. Do you see that window? That's where she's waiting for you. That is the name that the Comte de Cagliostro uses to conduct his business discreetly. Stay with me always, n'est-ce pas? Without you, mon ami, I'd be all alone. Covered in astronomical symbols. <sighs> it's no use. I can't get it open. I should show this to Monsieur Bailly.
The lock wasn't forced. Whoever opened it had the key. Monsieur Necker's bonds are still there. There's something engraved on it. H.G. Ricchetti. Comte de Mirabeau. Whoever broke into this safe left behind the most valuable thing in it. This doesn't make sense.
I have just come from the Tuileries. The armoire de fer has been ransacked. Diable. Someone beat us to it. This is very unfortunate. God only knows what we would have found there. Whoever it was had to fight for it. I found a body there, killed by automats. Mon Dieu. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. Especially since I discovered this in the victim's hand. And what is that, pray tell? A dueling pistol. With your name engraved on its plate. Oh, I... May we? You're right. It is my pistol. It was stolen along with a number of other things. It happened just before the Estates General at my lodgings in Versailles. But how on earth did my weapon end up in the hands of this poor soul? I am certain we will find an explanation. I'm going to have a look around. With your permission, of course. Well, since I'm in no position to dissuade you... You appear to have burnt these. I'm eager to hear your... It's nothing at all, I assure you. Frivolous letters that were cluttering my desk. I find your defense unconvincing. Why won't you tell me the truth? You don't understand. This is a matter of the utmost importance that I cannot discuss with a creature such as... I am an automat, monsieur. But I serve the queen. And my only aim is to put a stop to the crimes that have befallen... Well, know that you're not alone in... What was in those letters you threw into the fire? My private correspondence with the king. I had a key to the armoire, which served as a mailbox. Are you conspiring with the king? No, you don't understand. I was something of a shadow advisor, a, a diplomat, working in complete discretion. I feared his stubbornness would lead the kingdom to ruin, so I tried to reassure him regarding the aims of the Third Estate. But when Vaucanson told me what happened at Meudon, I realized it was a lost cause. You claim to be a friend of the Queen. The King has gone insane. After what happened at Meudon, that much is clear. We can no longer expect any leniency from him. Hence, my support for his wife. She's a headstrong woman and much wiser than she lets on. You must know that she means to put her youngest on the throne, the young prince, Louis Charles. A regency would restore peace and unity to the kingdom. Then all that would remain would be to establish a constitution. I have the support of the people. They trust me. I'm the only one that can bring about these reforms. I found your pistol in the hands of a dead man. Who was this unfortunate soul? Mathieu, one of the servants I had sent to retrieve the letters. I gave him the pistol for self-defense. Alas, it seems it was of little use to him against the King's automats. Tell me, what happened at Meudon? It's all here in this letter, written in the King's own hand. Please, give it to the Queen. She must learn the truth. Why were you in such a hurry to destroy your correspondence? The letters contained sensitive information about my Third Estate colleagues. If it had gotten out, I would have surely lost my allies' trust, as well as any hope of establishing a regency along with it.
Madame. Why didn't you come sooner, my chère? Those poor children in the National Guard. They could have used your help. They marched all day on the Pont Neuf. Oh, you should have heard them singing as they marched on the Place Dauphine. They were very brave then. To hear them, you'd think that the king had already handed over his crown. Then what happened? As far as I know, gunfire, the booming of cannons, shouting, lots of shouting. And then, silence. None of the soldiers returned? No, not a single one. My son, my little Francois. He left this morning to join the volunteers, but he hasn't given any sign of life since. I'll try to find out what happened to him. Madame. Do you have any news of my son? Hélas, I do not. Will I never see him again in this lifetime? I thought I was safe. Will it never end? I'm not afraid. I am not a member of the Royal Army. Au contraire, I intend to put an end to it. And now comes the time when the wolves are at each other's throats. I will not hurt you. You can believe me. Believe you? I'm afraid it's too late, madame. Those whose bodies are strewn about this square paid the ultimate price for their blind trust. Like me, they believed in their country, in the National Guard that they were urged to join. They believed in the Marquis de Lafayette, who was to lead them to victory. But they waited in vain for their savior. Look at them now. See what has become of their beautiful illusions. How did they die? Steel and fire, madame. We didn't stand a chance. And our wretched commanders must have known it. They saw what that gigantic automat was capable of, yet they let him cross the bridge and didn't sound the retreat. The only reason I'm still alive is that I'm a spineless coward. I couldn't help myself. My legs carried me here, where I hid, motionless. And it was from here that I witnessed the massacre. That creature. A parody of a cardinal. Nothing could stop it. Soldiers and volunteers alike were mown down like sheaves of wheat. Monsieur, I vanquished the creature that wiped out the National Guard. So, single-handed, you've done what an entire battalion was unable to do. For now, I urge you to stay in your hiding place. It's not safe out here yet. Oh, don't you worry about that. You won't see little Francois out on the streets any time soon. Little Francois, dites-vous? Yes, madame. That's the nickname they gave me in the Pont Neuf quarter, where I grew up. Monsieur, you should know that I have spoken to your mother, and that she is worried sick about you. The poor woman. 
Please inform her that her son is well, even if he will never do her the honor of becoming a hero. Adieu, monsieur. Farewell, madame, and may fortune ever favor you. Take comfort, madame. Your son is safe and sound. He has found a safe haven where he is not in danger, and will stay there until it's safe to come out. Praise be to God. Without you, I would have been overcome with worry. Here, for your trouble. A little something to help you continue your fight. Thank you again, ma chère. And may fortune guide your footsteps. Thank you again, ma chère. And... Ah, you saw the Pont Neuf collapse into the Seine just as well as I did. Ah, sir! That was a spectacle I won't soon forget. And to tell you the truth, I'm very happy I managed to escape with my life. Vous ne comprenez pas. If the Autolites aim to cut off Ile de la Cité from the rest of the city, the bridge we're standing on will soon suffer the same fate. Why would they deprive themselves of a means of retreat? If, we, if they really intend to do as you claim, why would they have to put up barricades to prohibit access to the Chatelet from this bridge? I hope you're right, Monsieur jean -Pierre. I hope you're right. Vous ne comprenez pas. If the Automates aim to cut off Ile de la Cité from the rest of the city, the bridge we're standing on will soon suffer the same fate. Why would they deprive themselves of a means if, we, if they really intend to do as you claim, why would they have to put up barricades to prohibit access to the Chatelet from this bridge? I hope you're right, Monsieur jean -Pierre. I hope you're right.
gentlemen. I've always been loyal to the king. Oh, yes, as God is my witness. I'll, I'll do anything you ask. I have no intention of harming you. The automats, those whom you call my brethren, are my only enemies. Partout les saints, you were sent by heaven above. Have you watched these machines? Yes, I had a front row seat. A swarm of ferocious beasts who cleared the way for a creature I have a nightmare. It was the Grim Reaper, madame. Death itself. Nothing and no one was spared. I was spellbound and horrified by its dance of death. If by misfortune you find yourself in its presence, do not let it leap in your direction. Those who suffered its lightning attack did not survive. None of them, without exception. Come now, if you claim to want to destroy these automats, it's time to get going. You must stop them from advancing. Just today, as clearly as I can see you now. It's impossible. That makes no sense. Do you think I've gone mad? No, of course not. But how could Monsieur Borsamo make these machines obey him? <coughs> Monsieur Balsamo, you say? <gasps> Two Jesus! An automat right on our doorstep! Mama, we are lost! Be not afraid. I am not one of those machines that are sowing death all over the city. A la bonne heure. This one speaks and thinks, at least. First of all, God. So you saw this Monsieur Balsamo giving orders to the machines? Bien sûr. I saw him walk through the gate to his workshop, just a few paces from here, accompanied by a dozen automates. They make no need to attack him. Au contraire, we were acting like his bodyguards. What does Monsieur Balsamo do? Who knows? He's a very discreet man. Discreet? I dare to find him discreet. We have the racket keepers up every night. The clatter of scrap metal. The creaking of pulleys, rumblings of all kinds. We suffer through it all. Not to mention the god awful screams that emanate from that sinister workshop from time to time. It's unusual, Panthère, c'est vrai. However, there's no way of knowing what he's doing there. And that's why we cannot tell you anything more. Madame, would you be so kind as to leave now? We don't want to draw attention to ourselves.
Dieu de bon Dieu, la boss. It hurts. It hurts. Steal yourself, Claude. Just be thankful you got out alive. I'm still in pretty bad shape. Et puis quoi? Don't you think it was worth it? This tunnel is a gold mine. With what we've managed to gather, we'll be set for a long time. Monsieur. Huh? Who goes there? Oh, so let's get the hell out of here. Run, Claude. Run if you can. Oh, my lord. I told you we'd get caught. 